if you're using a Wi-Fi connection and it is running slow, you do not have full Wi-Fi speed and you want to increase your Wi-Fi speed in your laptop or desktop, then this tutorial is for you. Here we will be doing only four to five simple steps in order to increase the Wi-Fi speed. Please make sure you watch the whole video. And if you have not subscribed the channel, then please hit the like and subscribe. Just do a right click in the start icon and then go to device management. Now, once the device manager is opened, here we are looking for network adapters. So I can see the network adapter is right here in the middle, just below monitors. So if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, here you need to look for anything which says wireless. So I can see I'm using Intel Wireless AC9560. So I will select that and I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. And here you will be making some changes and I will be also explaining you that why we are changing those information, why we are changing those things here. So here you need to select the 802, the uh, wireless mode. So here we have three to five things which we need to change. Look for channel width and select that and select auto. Now selecting auto will be better. So in future, whenever you will have your connection, let's say you have a new laptop or an old laptop, whenever you try to connect your Wi-Fi, you will get both the options if you have 5G, 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. So please make sure channel width is auto always. Now the very important part is fat channel intolerant. Now here you might have this fat channel intolerant and many of us will not have this option. So here we are going to change this option to enable fat channel intolerant. This will actually increase the internet speed, the Wi-Fi speed because it will create a fat ch channel and the width of the channel will be wider and you will get the higher internet speed if your signals are good. So here I would recommend to select it enabled. The second important thing here is the preferred band. And I would recommend if you have this five gigahertz option, then select prefer five gigahertz band because five gigahertz is definitely faster compared to 2.4 gigahertz. However, if we're talking about the Wi-Fi range, Wi-Fi range has 2.4 gigahertz has a better range than to 5 gigahertz. So please listen to me carefully. If you're getting a, uh, I mean, the good signals, then you should always select 5 gigahertz. But let's say if you're moving to a place where the signals are getting lower, then you can switch to 2.4 gigahertz. All right. And another important part, I mean, after fat ch channel intolerant, this roaming aggressiveness is also a very important option where we need to select. I'll tell you why we should select lowest or highest. Now, roaming aggressiveness is something related to your Wi-Fi signal. So if your Wi-Fi router is very far away from your laptop, then you can select it two to three here. Now, roaming aggressiveness is something higher the value of roaming aggressiveness, slower the speed. So if you make it lower, it will be better. However, if you're not getting good signals, then you select uh, medium or medium high. But if you're getting good signals, just to increase the speed, you should always select lowest because I have also selected lowest here and lower the roaming aggressiveness value, higher the internet speed. So I have selected lowest and I just need to click on OK. So these are the only settings we need to do as far as this wireless adapter is concerned. Once this is done, we will move to the another step, which is also a very important step. You just need to do a right click and click on one and here type ncpa.cpl. Now we need to click on OK and a new window will appear and here we are going to change uh, the TCP IP, I'll tell you why exactly, where exactly it is. And even if you are not using Wi-Fi, if you're using a cable connection and you have an Ethernet, you can also do that. So since I'm using Wi-Fi, 
I'll select my Wi-Fi option and I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. Now here in properties, I'll just maximize it. Here we have this internet protocol version 4 TCP IP4. So we need to select that. Please make sure you select only this uh, internet protocol version 4 and then go to properties. And here you can use the preferred DNS Google DNS and the alternative is secondary DNS of Google. So you can take a note of it. I'll just show you. So here are the Google DNS. You can try both the DNS. You can try Google or you can try cloud DNS. Now, if you, if you want to use cloud DNS, you just need to type 1.1.1.1 and in alternative type 1.0.0.1. You can take a note of it and you can try that because changing the DNS will increase the resolution, uh, resolution speed. Like whenever you try to browse any website, it will load faster. So that is also a good thing to change the DNS in your adapter. Once this is done, you just need to restart the computer. And one more thing which you can do, just do a right click and just go to device manager and go to network adapters. And here in the network adapters, please make sure you select your Wi-Fi, the wireless adapter. If you're using Intel, you can select Intel. If you're using Realtek, you can select Realtek. Anything which says wireless. So just do a right click and go to properties. And instead of advanced tab, there will be one more tab, a power management. Now, if you get that power management tab here, right here, then you need to uncheck that allow thing allow um, users to turn off the adapter kind of so once you uncheck that if your wi-fi is getting disconnected again and again that will be also fixed and your internet speed will be also good now once this is done one more important part which you need to follow is to look at your wi-fi connection to the right um, bottom right corner where you have the uh, wi-fi connection click here and see which all Wi-Fi connection you're getting. So I can see I have two Wi-Fi connections. You can also look the properties what exactly it is because the reason why I want you to select this one is to select your 5.5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi connection. So if you're using 2.4 gigahertz, I'm getting both the thing here. So this is 5 gigahertz and this one is 2.4 gigahertz. So you need to disconnect it and try to connect to your 5 gigahertz band. This will drastically increase the Wi-Fi speed. And I'm sure in your laptop performance, the internet speed will be boost up. And you can definitely share this to your family, your friends, if they are facing issues, slow internet speed, especially in Wi-Fi, they can do all these steps and you can increase the Wi-Fi speed in your laptop or the desktop and at the end of this video even if your laptop is running slow you can watch this tutorial how to make pc faster you will get this tutorial at the end of screen which is a very popular tutorial you can have a look and you can perform those steps to clean up your computer optimize your computer and make your computer faster as well as wi-fi faster so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video and have a wonderful day. And guys, please <laughs> click on subscribe and support me. I really need your support. Have a wonderful day.